welcome back to Let's Play Captain Comic. As you can see, the trip to the moon was accomplished without incident, the rocket functioning exactly the same as any other door. You may already have noticed a major change in this level in the height of Captain Comic's jumps. The lower gravity of Tambi's moon makes it possible to jump higher and further, but doesn't really change how the controls work or how fast you descend. The enemies here are the yellow space pollen, presumably produced by some larger plants than the ones we've seen, and saucers, both of which merely bounce around the screen like brave birds. And here we acquire a timely shield, saving me from losing my first life. This section is a bit tricky as the small, erratically spaced platforms can tempt you into trying for bigger jumps than you can successfully make. It's also very difficult to avoid taking damage without falling into the bottomless pits. And finally, we reach the first of our stolen treasures, the gems. Each treasure is worth a significant amount of points, usually scoring you an extra life. And that's it for the moon! Join me next time for the moon base!